Have you ever wondered how pilots know exactly how fast they're flying, how high they are, or which direction they're heading? In the cockpit, there are many instruments that provide all this information and more. Today I'm going to walk you through the most important ones and explain them in a simple way. Let's get started. One of the first things every pilot learns is the six-pack, a set of six essential flight instruments. First, we have the airspeed indicator, which tells the pilot how fast the aircraft is moving through the air. It works by measuring air pressure and displays the speed in knots or miles per hour. Then there's the attitude indicator, also known as the artificial horizon. This one shows whether the plane is level, climbing, or banking. It's especially important when flying in clouds or at night when you can't see the horizon. Another key instrument is the altimeter, which measures altitude above sea level. It works by sensing air pressure, and since pressure changes as you go higher, the altimeter gives pilots a precise reading of how high they are. Next up is the vertical speed indicator, which shows whether the plane is climbing or descending and at what rate. This helps pilots control smooth takeoffs and landings. Then we have the heading indicator, which works alongside the magnetic compass to help pilots stay on course. Unlike a normal compass, this one isn't affected by turbulence or sudden turns, making it much more reliable. And finally, the turn coordinator helps pilots know if their turns are balanced or if the aircraft is slipping or skidding. Besides these basics, there are also instruments that help pilots with navigation. The magnetic compass is the simplest, always pointing north. It is affected by turbulence and turns. The horizontal situation indicator HSI is a combination of a heading indicator and a navigation display. It not only shows the aircraft's current direction, but also helps pilots track VOR and ILS signals for precise navigation. A very important tool is the VOR indicator, which helps pilots follow radio signals from ground stations, making navigation more precise. Of course, it's not just about knowing where you are. Pilots also need to keep an eye on the aircraft's engine and systems. The tachometer, also called the RPM indicator, shows how fast the engine is running. The manifold pressure gauge is used in some piston engine aircraft to measure power output. To monitor fuel, there's the fuel flow indicator, which tells the pilot how much fuel is being used per hour. And just like in a car, there are oil pressure and temperature gauges to make sure the engine is running smoothly. Modern aircraft often use glass cockpit displays instead of traditional dials. The primary flight display, or PFD, combines all the essential flight instruments on a single screen, making it easier to read. There's also the multifunction display, or MFD, which shows things like maps, weather, and system information. In larger jets, you'll find systems like ICAS, engine indicating and crew alerting system in Boeing aircraft or ECAM in Airbus planes, which give pilots detailed engine and system status reports. Safety is, of course, the top priority in aviation, which is why modern planes also have instruments to detect weather and avoid other aircraft. The weather radar helps pilots see storms and turbulence ahead. Terrain awareness display in aircraft helps pilots avoid terrain or obstacles by showing real-time information about the surrounding landscape, enhancing safety, especially in low visibility conditions. And then there's TCAS, the Traffic Collision Avoidance System, which warns pilots if another aircraft is too close. All of these instruments work together to give pilots a complete picture of their flight, helping them navigate, monitor the aircraft's health, and stay safe in the sky. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more aviation content. See you in the next one.